So tell me about your day. 90% of my time is spent in the building. Joe Lowry has been a Montgomery County police officer for 30 years, and the last 11 of those years have been spent as a school resource officer. He's stationed at Quince Orchard High School in Gaithersburg. Next time, what are you eating today? Whoa. Where he serves as a liaison between the school and the police department to create a safe environment for students and teachers. Here's my birthday clone right here. We have the same birthday. You good, brother? Yes. <laughs> Officer Lowry will tell you overseeing a school of 2,000 students isn't easy. But he works to gain the respect of students so they know he is on their side. First thing is that th this job is really about relationships. And so it's very important that, and all of our SROs do this, but it's very important that you build really good relationships with your kids. You okay, brother? Huh? Okay, man. You good? Yeah. Okay, man. Because ultimately, I mean, it's just one officer here and six security folks. Um, but usually, kids, if something's going to happen, whether it be a fight or some other kind of uh, disagreement, usually, if you have a good relationship, the kids will come and tell us before it happens so we can sort of intercede before anything you know ridiculous happens. Walking around the halls of Quince Orchard, students are happy to encounter Officer Lowry. How are you? Good. Good, man. Everything good? He has his finger on the pulse of the school, and the many students we spoke to told us he has a positive impact on their environment. What, what, what is it about him? Uh, it's just his natural flair. The way he walks down the hallway, everybody like, finds him really cool. This is the way he uh, represents himself. I honestly think that he's a special guy to have around the school because he, it makes us feel safe and like the fact that he's so like nice and then he doesn't like you know act like you know like he's the boss of the school and it like makes us feel like more open to him. Officer Lowry wears many hats when he is on duty. In addition to his law enforcement role, he sometimes serves as a social worker. Yeah. Why is that important to have somebody like him that you can relate to? Because you know like you're safe and you also have someone to talk to and stuff like that. An educator and even a surrogate parent. He is a great officer. Oh, thank you. Very helpful. He loves to get involved with the students. He's, very, he's been very helpful for me. Has he? He's helped you out? Yeah, what has he, what has he done for you? Just kind of, is, have you had situations where you needed somebody to talk to? Yeah, he's actually come to me. I don't really like, like opening up to people, but he actually helped me. That's good. And does he, do you think he makes the school a safer place? He does. We definitely know that he's around, so we feel safe. If you don't have your ear to the ground, you don't have any idea what's going on. In my experience with Officer Lowry, students would just come up to him all the time and just say, Officer Lowry, can I tell you something? And he would take a little walk with them and be able to do some preemptive work. You know, it's nice to see kids who, who eat healthy, organic stuff, you know, get their time in the spotlight, you know. We were just talking about you. I hope your ears are working. Yes, sir. <laughs> council member Craig Rice chairs the council's education committee and is a big advocate of the SRO program. So what I think a lot of people don't understand about school resource officers is they oftentimes just see them as police officers. And part of their job is certainly as a police officer to make sure that our school is safe. But it's also about the proactivity that goes in. It's just not about the reactiveness. Uh, it's about having a relationship with students, uh, knowing which students may have had an issue uh, that they heard about uh, in their neighborhood that previous weekend. Anyway, we'll let you guys eat in peace. Thank you. <laughs> and that they're coming to school and maybe a little bit upset, uh, and they're able to reach out to them and say, hey, you know, just wanted to talk to you, make sure everything was cool, the word on the street is that, you know, you might not be happy, and, you know, ha have that reach out. And that oftentimes averts a lot of the challenges that we see on a daily basis that are happening in our school system. Rice says he would like to expand the program to all of the middle schools in the county. And the reality is, is just as much time is needed in our middle schools as is in our high schools. We're starting to see some of those same things, those same behaviors, those same kinds of challenges that our kids are being faced with trickling into our middle schools as, lo as young as sixth grade. On our visit to Quince Orchard, we asked a lot of students so if they felt then. safe at school. They all said you yes. Do you feel safe at school? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this, is, this, is, is this genetics or you have a stylist at home? Officer Lowry says the key to that answer is that the students are active participants in their own safety. They're equally uh, important partners to making sure we're safe in the schools. Because that's they, I think that's why the kids feel inspired to not just talk to me, but any trusted adult in the building. See, and he's so humble because in that answer, he didn't say anything about the work that he does. Yeah. But it's the work that he does in building those relationships that makes this school safe.
That's your work. That's the hard work that you put in. Hey, girl. Reporting from Gaithersburg, I'm Susan Kennedy for County Report This Week.